So, met Suleiman, discovered he was the nice gentleman on the boat on my way in to Constantinople, and now he wants to see me about something I would guess top secret. I don't know, he was a bit weird about it. So are they going to attack me, even though I've just, like, saved their prince? Or, or what? I mean, this, this seems a very dodgy deal. So this is all deserted as well. It's restricted and deserted. I mean, there's one guard in, like, a mile. Let's climb this and get the view. Oh, can't do the inside. Um, really? Oh, okay, there's a little foothold thing. Oh, good grief. Oh my god, this is, this is getting a bit dodgy, I don't like this. Oh my god, that's stupidly insane. Um, oh, I don't need to synchronise up here. I need to synchronise down there. Okay. I love how easy he makes all this look. I did a team building thing when I was like, back in sixth form. And one of the things was to climb up a really giant log. Like as in a 12 foot tall tree effectively, stand on the top and jump to a trapeze bar. Getting up on top of it took about 20 minutes per person if they actually managed to get up there with no no handles or anything, just your own balance. So, oh god, what are you doing? How rude. Interrupting my story and trying to stab me, that's just Oh. oh, here he is. I have arranged a meeting with my uncle Ahmed and the Janissary captain, Tariq Barlate. The Janissaries are loyal to my grandfather, but they have lately become angry over his choice of the next Sultan. Your oh, uncle. I see. Exactly. The Janissaries prefer my father, Selim. You are in a tough spot. But how do the Byzantines fit into this? I had hoped you might know. Would you be willing to help me find out? Sure. I am tracking them myself. I can help you, as long as our interests run parallel. I will take what I can get. There is a hatch at the top of that tower which leads to a secret room. Go there, wait, and watch. So what language are these two speaking? I mean, <laughs> he's not speaking Turkish. Is he speaking Italian? to Ezio? I'm not sure because he said some Italian to him in the previous episode and it was separate to the English. I'm being nitpicky aren't I? It doesn't really matter but it kind of does. Whoops. Ow. No they're not following. Looks like. Okay. Uh, I'll try and actually get up here since he seems to bug out. Um, right. So we're back up on this little tower that I used a minute ago. And we're going in through the floor. Heed my nephew, Tarek. Your incompetence borders on treason. And to think that today your Janissaries were outshone by an Italian loot player. <laughs> Preposterous. An inexcusable failing, if any. I will conduct a full investigation. Damn straight you I will. I will conduct the investigation, Tarek. For reasons that should be obvious. Evet, Shezadem. You have your father's wisdom. And his impatience. Uncle, I am relieved to see you safe. Likewise, Suleiman. Allah emanet olam. Tarek Bey. A word. What was the purpose of this attack, I wonder? To make me look weak? An ineffective steward of the city? If you are the hand in this mess, Tarek, you have made a grave mistake. My father has chosen me as the next Sultan, not my brother. Ahmed. 
I am not depraved enough to imagine the conspiracy you accuse me of. Mm. What have I done to earn such contempt from the Janissaries? What has my brother done for you that I have not? May I speak freely? Uh-oh. You'd better. You're weak, Ahmed. Pensive in times of war and restless in times of peace. You lack passion for the traditions of the Ghazi, yet you speak of fraternity in the company of infidels. <laughs> you make a decent philosopher, Ahmed, but you will be a poor sultan. Wow. You may show yourself out. Well, you did ask him. So do you blame him? You probably are a bit of crap. Anyway. Quite a family, hmm. Your uncle lacks sway over the men he will soon command. Tariq is a hard man. Proud and capable, but ambitious. And he admires my father greatly. But he failed to secure this palace against the Byzantine invasion. That alone is worth our attention. Precisely. Where should we begin? For now, keep an eye on Tariq and his Janissaries. They spend much of their free time in and around the bazaar. I will start there when I can. Okay, let's um, let's go to the bazaar. I'm basically passing the flashing book thing on the way, so I figured save the journey and kill two birds, one stone. Let's see what I've got to read, because obviously I've got the second Masayaf key now. Do another Altair memory. Back in the weird sci-fi city chipboard. I don't know what it is. It could be anything. Thing. Spoilers if you haven't played the original game. You held fire in your hand, old man. It should have been destroyed. Destroy the only thing capable of ending the Crusades and creating true peace? Never. Forgive me for this, mentor. But the apple corrupted you. And through you, it would have corrupted us. For us to live, you had to die. So we're at uh, his wake. Is it truly over? Is that sorcerer dead? He was no sorcerer. Just an ordinary man in command of illusions. Have you prepared the pyre? I have, but... Altair, some of the men will not stand for such a thing. Let me handle it. Isn't it a bit dodged to burn someone? Like... Are they religious? As in, which religion do they follow? Or is it part of the creed that it's not allowed? I don't know. Are you fit to travel? Well enough. Yes. I asked Malik to ride to Jerusalem with news of Al-Mulim's death. Oh god, what am I doing? Would you ride to Acre and do the same? Of course. Oh, I always called that Acre in the first game. Not Acre. How did it come to this? My mind was clear, but my body, it would not move. Was our mentor the cause of this confusion? I do not believe. Almoalim. Oh dear. What has happened here? Our mentor deceived us all. The Templars corrupted him. Where is your proof? Steady on. Walk with me, Abbas, and I will explain. Yeah, Abbas. And if I find your answers wanting, I will talk until you are satisfied. Do you remember the artifact we recovered from Robert de Sable in Solomon's temple? The artifact you were sent to retrieve? What others delivered? Yes. It is a Templar tool. The Apple of Eden. It can conjure illusions and control men's minds. Indeed. A deadly weapon. And you believe Al Mualim fell under its spell? I do. Today he used the Apple to enslave Masyaf. You saw that for yourself. I do not know what I saw. Listen, Abbas. The Apple is safe in Al Mualim's study. When I'm finished here. Cut him off. Sorry. So are we just gonna burn him? Is that the the plan? I don't know if that that Oh. Well, it's a bit late now. 
Let's just put it that way. Altair, no! I must know that he cannot return. But this is not our way. To burn a man's body is forbidden. Defiler! Hear me out. This body could be another one of Al-Mulim's phantoms. I must be certain. Lies! All your life, you have made a mockery of our creed. You bend the rules to suit your whims, while belittling and humiliating those around you. Restrain him! Did you not hear him? Al-Mualim is bewitched. Oh dear. Oh, ow. This is not going to end well. Oh my god. Uh, a civil war. Let's, yeah, let's not have a civil war. That would be great. Oh, I can't... I have to just disarm them. I can't attack to get rid of them. It's a bit annoying. Ow! Oh, that's ridiculous. Ow! Ow. There we go. It's fairly easy counter disarms. There we go. What did I tell you, Altair? Uh. Abbas, stop! Uh. What did you think would happen when you murdered our beloved mentor? You loved Al Mulim less than anyone. You blamed him for all your misfortune, even your father's suicide. My father was a hero. Oh this God, this is not going to end well. We must decide what to do with that weapon. Whatever this artifact is capable of, you are not worthy to wield it. No man is. How about we put it down and we just talk about it? It is a civil and calm atmosphere, or um, or all that happens. Ah! Oh dear. Um, a slight problem. Uh, oh God, I've got to recover the apple to save. Oh my God, what is that? Oh God, is it pulsing? It sounds like it's pulsing. Oh my good grief! Ow! Uh, oh, up here. So no one else is... Oh, actually, I'll have to wait. Okay, now we'll go. Come on. Come on. Where am I going? Oh, balls. Okay, so across here and up. Yes. Oh god, get on the thing, get on the thing. Better safe than sorry, I think. So is the reason that I'm actually able to do this and everyone else is just lying on the floor being pathetic because I've got the genetic disposition or something? Oh god. Give me the give me the apple. He's not even touching the apple and it's like spazzing out. I mean what? What was it? Are they dead? Forgive me. I did not. No. Damn straight you didn't. Have you anything to teach us? Or would you lead us all to ruin? Probably the latter. Call it hardcore but hardcore. I make killing an art form. Death's cold, taste sweet as car door. No need to start wars for a difference of opinion. Give me the name of your antagonist, I'll stick him in the ribs. Because I'm an assassin, one with a passion, but we're not with the rapping, dropping the fast, you're probably having a problem to follow the captions. I'm so